Hey guys, Andy here from Mediocre Hobbies, bringing you a build slash paint slash information video. Um, and the topic of this video is going to be on the new Custodes Blade Champion model, the one that came from the uh, Shadow Throne box set. Um, very cool miniature. Um, absolutely all of the promotional images um, that we've seen before this box set was, was released. Um, we've seen that Blade Champion in a beautiful two-handed pose, uh, running forward, ready to engage the enemy. It turns out that there is an alternate build for this guy that, for some reason, they didn't tell us about, didn't show in any pictures, didn't mention it anywhere. It took for the, the uh, throne box to go onto the website for us to get a look at the sprues in order for them to show us um, the alternate build. And that alternate build allows you to build the Blade Champion wielding two swords in a kind of fleur-de-lis, coup de grace style pose. It's very cool, it's very different. Um, I think it shows the motion, skill, and um, kind of martial prowess of this miniature a hell of a lot better than the standard running forward um, pose. So I'm super pleased that that option was in the kit. Um, and in this video, I'm gonna show you me painting this miniature up um, to the standard that you see here. Um, you'll also get to see the pose a lot more in this video. And then at the end, there's one extra little sneaky thing that I believe they did, thinking we wouldn't notice, but we noticed. So stick around at the end of the video to find out that little sneaky tip. And um, yeah, enjoy the video. Okay, we start by cracking open the beautiful Shadow Throne box set and finding the miniature that we want to assemble. Um, this is half a Gene Stealer cult, half Custodes box set, some really nice miniatures in here. Um, don't want the Gene Stealer cult guy there, so I have located the sprue. Turns out there's two of them to make the uh, Blade Champion. And as you can see on that right-hand sprue, you see the three swords. And that's what jumped out at most people the first time they seen it, um, which led us to believe that there was an alternate build option. So cracking open the instructions, you can finally see what the alternate build option is going to look like. So we don't want this guy, nope. We are looking for that guy. So we're gonna get him built um, and sprayed. So what I did was I got him constructed. I gave him an all over coat of Chaos Black Spray. And then I also gave him an all over coat of Retributor Armor Gold, which is a beautiful base coat for getting any custodies um, painted up, making the process of painting them super quick and effective. Next thing we're gonna do is move over to our base coat of Corn Red. And we're gonna use this for all of the cloth um, parts on the miniature. Um, so his big flowing clay, cape, sorry, clape, what's a clape? Um, his big flowing cape, um, his headdress um, on top of his helmet. And um, he's got these uh, little skirt things coming down from his hip. I'm sure they have a, a better name than little skirt thingies, but I don't know it. So we'll go with little skirt thingies. Um, so we're gonna get those base coated up in the red. And when you get that done, it should look something like this. It's great having um, not so much gold on the in this model, particularly the champion. Um, it breaks up the amount of gold by all of the bits of leather and fabric that he has um, overlapping his armor. So I think it's a super cool aesthetic um, and makes him stand out as one of the best looking uh, Custodes miniatures out there. So the next thing we're going to do is going to move over to Rhinox Hide. Um, and we are going to base coat all of the brown leather parts. So the little leather tassels that run down um, the front of him. He's also got uh, covers that go over his boots. Um, and he's got uh, leather strips that go over his gloves as well. So get those three particular points done up with the Rhinox hide. Um, and then we'll move on to the next stage. And this is what the miniature should look like with the Rhinox hide bits done. The next thing we're going to do is move over to Abaddon Black and we're going to base coat things like his boots. Um, they have some black leather parts and that's pretty much it for the black to be honest. We're just going to black out his boots. Take your time, don't hit the brown um, and yeah, get it done. After that we are now going to block in all of the silver metallic parts on the miniature. So those are obviously the blades off of both of his swords. Um, there's a couple of like buckles and things around the miniature and his face plate is also, um, lower face plate is also done in silver. That'll break up uh, the amount of gold in the middle of the miniature there. So this is another one of those steps you need to be careful with. Do your best not to hit any of the gold parts that need to stay gold. For some reason, as soon as you start doing these steps, it starts to break up the model enough that you can see what it's going to look like in the end. 
and that's when the painting side gets really exciting. And after all of these silver bits have been base coated, we should be at this stage. Now it's time for an all over wash. And what we're gonna use for this is Reichland Flesh Shade. Um, this has lots of warm tones and a little bit of red into it. Um, so it's gonna be really good over all of the red fabrics and over all of the gold. It's not a perfect match for the swords or the silver faceplate, but I find an all over wash um, helps to tie all, this, all the colors together. Um, and obviously we're gonna be layering up the silver bits later on, so it won't make too much of a difference. But yeah, you wanna get a nice uh, even coat, quite heavy all over the entire miniature. Make sure it doesn't pool anywhere you don't want it. Um, and this will make the uh, gold and the red pop beautifully. And after the shade has dried, it should look something like this. Now, already the model looks absolutely amazing. We've put minimal work in and I'm already super pleased with how this model looks. Now it's time to make it pop. So the first thing we're gonna do is a dry brush of Liberator Gold. And we're going to go all over the miniature trying to get the gold parts. Now, obviously you're gonna hit red parts, you're gonna hit silver parts, you're gonna hit brown parts, so that's okay. We are going to be layering up those other pieces um, and other textures in a moment. So don't worry too much about hitting those. Okay, once the Liberator Gold Dry Brush is on, it's time to tidy up the mess we've made of some of the other areas. So we're gonna start with all of that red. And for that, we're gonna use my trusty uh, favorite red, which is Mephiston Red, but specifically the air one. This is basically a pretty thin red. Um, it goes over really smooth and it's got enough pigment that it gives good coverage as well. Um, but I just get better brush control with it. So take your time, go back in and layer up all of those bits, making those uh, fabric parts pop and covering up any of the gold that you hit um, with that last dry brush. Okay, as you can see, the red looks a lot cleaner now. Um, definitely pops against the gold a lot more. Now it's time to tidy up all of the silver parts. For that, we are going to use Iron Breaker. And like I said, the only bit that the shade didn't really suit was the blades of the sword. So with the Iron Breaker, we're gonna tidy those up quite a lot. Obviously these are Custodes weapons, so they're gonna be polished to a mirror sheen at the end of every shift. So making these things bright silver is absolutely perfect. I also went ahead and did the face plate at this stage. And once again, any buckles and stuff that are around the miniature that you think need a bit of silver, go for it then as well. Okay, now we're gonna move over to the Word Bear's red color. And we're gonna use this to layer up all of the Rhinox hide parts we did in the previous stage, um, making it look like it's quite rich, soft leather. Um, only the best for Custodian Guard, so it's not gonna look like, you know, crap cheap leather. It's gonna look quite nice. Um, and the red tone in this brown will tie it into the gold and the cape and stuff a lot better than the, the flat dull brown will. So layer up the uh, fingerless gloves, uh, his boots, um, uh, sorry, his boot covers and the uh, tassels running down the front of them. It's the model almost complete. We just have a couple of extra sneaky steps to do um, that are gonna finish this model off beautifully. What we're gonna use is Talazar Blue and we're gonna use this for all of those precious gems that are studded across his armor and weapons. So we're gonna go one nice coat, take our time, fine pointed brush, and just paint in um, those little gemstones um, everywhere you find them. There is quite a lot of them on the miniature. It's kind of like playing Where's Wally to find them all. Um, but just take your time, make sure they uh, you spot them all, um, and this breaks it all up even more. It's, it's a fantastic step on this model. And once you have found them all and gotten Talazar Blue onto them, that's where we're gonna move over to the uh, Blood Angels Red Contrast. And we are going to just fill that into his eye socket that will dry in beautifully um, and act like a uh, beautiful glowing uh, helmet lens. As you can see, it took about one second to do. Do the other side now. We are now going to just pop him off and put him on his actual base so he matches in with the rest of my Custodes force. 
He is quite a stunning miniature when he is done. Um, I'm going to show you him next to one of my standard um, Custodes Warriors now, so you can see how he looks standing next to one of his uh, his brethren. Such a cool model. And there he is standing next to one of his guys. Obviously, he will stand out a mile on the battlefield, even though their colors are so similar. His pose just says it all. And for that last extra bit of fun that I mentioned at the start of the video is I believe this model was named after Henry Cavill, who we all know is a massive Custodes fan. This guy's second name is Cavellian. Coincidence? You tell me. Thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, please think about supporting me, supporting the channel and subscribing. Throw the video a like. And if you have any questions about anything we did here today, please drop them in the comments below and I will get back to each and every one of you. I'll see you guys in the next video.